Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, especially with the, the phase shifts, just cycling so many of those options, like you said, just picking the most salient options from each house, especially for that mega turn was just, um, was just brutal. So, uh, now we have, Oh, good. Yes. We've got, uh, more of us in here too. So we've got a sad cry bear and scrowner. Uh, so with this being a double elimination tournament, uh, the, uh, the, the elimination is now on the line for scrowner and sad cry bear. The, whoever's defeated in this match will be out. Uh, but having had an amazing run, just making it when so many people like lady Aurora and, uh, Nathan Starwalt and did not is, um, a major accomplishment. So, there, there's a reason I commentate and not play because, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no, hold on. I don't have your audio in here. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is this thing on? All right, we should be we should be on now. My apologies, everyone. That is uh, that is uh, me not doing this very often is what that is. I wasn't saying anything useful at all. Uh, it, it was funny. actually yeah. lovely. It was actually <laughs> some lovely commentary. It's great. They, they just missed the dulcet tones of my voice. It's- <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our apologies there, everyone. Uh, uh, but sad cry. Bear, no, Scrowner opening with a troll troll. The the eight power Brobnar creature never to be equaled again. Never to be equaled again. Uh, so Scrowner opening. Let's see what Scrowner's running here. We've got uh, Ball Tyranno, Boss Della Galleria. So double Lomir Flame Fist, which is fun. The War Chest, Snuff- Snufflegator, Chota, Nature's Call, double too much to protect the Sting. Okay, there's some fun stuff in here. Mm. Should be another fun Coda matchup for Sad Crybear. So you've uh, you previously watched a game with uh, with Sad Crybear. Um, uh, what's, yes, what's kind of, three in a row. Okay, so what's what's been your what's your experience with this Liverbrand deck? Uh, like, what is what's kind of Sad Crybear's objective in this situation? Oh, I mean, obviously winning. You know, right? Maybe the typical <laughs> uh, caster uh, thing. Like, what's the uh, objective here? <laughs> I think uh, getting to three keys first, Mortimus, is uh, seems to be the strategy. Oh, Didn't work wow. out last time. Uh, but Sad Crybear has a lot of speed and the stealth modes are critical for uh, Sad Crybear to keep his speed while slowing down the opponent, especially if the opponent has a lot of powerful Call of the Archons, mm. uh, a lot of powerful Call of the Archons actions. So we've seen here uh, Sad Crybear has already already burned one of them, which uh, hopefully their hand was good enough otherwise for a strong start against Scrowner mm-hmm. with a stealth mode already being burned on what is not a critical shutdown turn. Sure, sure. And it, it will be interesting to see if that, um, you know, I see that Scrowner is is rocking a, a single mimicry. Um, so that definitely unlocks, you know, the potential to the 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 reverse stealth mode. Mm-hmm. Um, some other <laughs> cool options uh, that can happen there. It does look like the shadows is like the shadows for Scrowner is Scrowner is a uh, pretty highly re- reliant on actions. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, f- effectively turning a shadow's turn with stealth mode into not really m- much of anything. Uh, yeah. So that'll be, it'll be interesting to see if sad Crybear tries to uh, like, I, I could see a, a situation where you would, uh, they would want to basically get up to check and then, and then play that stealth mode. So getting up to check on a uh, star Alliance turn into the stealth mode, um, basically just helping to lock down and, you know, and honestly, like, there's the double too much to protect we see so like in some ways sad cry bear isn't necessarily uh, hurt by going really high as long as they have the protection of the stealth mode uh, mm-hmm. to kind of prevent those too much protects from being played yeah that would be some good insurance definitely um, we've seen mostly just some trades back and forth there's a snag and a blood chart imp out which is nice for sad cry bear oh <laughs> although we've now got telega hunting witch um, until like a hunting witch, which means any creature played by anybody gets a scrowner, gets scrowner amber. So, mm-hmm. and the nature's call there uh, helps to just clear up the board, uh, mm-hmm. which is pretty pretty nice, especially getting that snag. 
yeah like getting the snag off the board because that you know is obviously a, a good fighting body with a pretty potent play effect or a, a pretty potent fight effect yeah would have been able to get both of those untamed creatures off the board but now sad cry bear uh, really has to find some answers to to that telega hunting witch situation mm-hmm. and they don't have anything to fight with so yeah that is a, a good move a good move by scrowner this is one of those like feels bad against untamed situations you're like mm, well <laughs> it's a I don't have lose. spot removal in my hand that's mm-hmm. an action then i'm mm-hmm. in really i'm in rough shape <laughs> Now, uh, I was just checking the bracket and uh, uh, Scrowner, I think, said, go easy on me in the pregame chat. Uh, being quite humble there as Scrowner defeated Jason Bargender of Team Knowledge's Power to get to this match, mm-hmm. uh, which is which is no small feat. I'm on record as saying the only reason Jason Bargender doesn't have a vault tour, a vault tour victory is the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, he is, he's very he's very good. He's very good. He was one of the first people uh, trying to solve uh, the the heart of the forest kind of glimmer key charge um, mm-hmm. kind of griefing. You will win unless you have a specific kind of artifact removal deck. So well, I've, I've figured out a pretty good counter to that is a, just a campfire. You just kind of pitch those. Just pitch the those <laughs> decks right into the campfire and let them let them go back into nature uh, once they once they came. Sub subterfuge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the good counter is to is to find Jason's home address and move all of the Keyforge decks to a safe location in his yard and then light them on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the only way to ensure that they don't get taken by someone else. <laughs> oh goodness, uh, sad crybear. Let's see, Scrowner. Um, Okay, so Seth Crybear uh, using all that time to consider, of course, as they are in the quite the pickle. So the second stealth mode comes down. First officer Frain, Telega. Uh, so first officer Frain, both of those. Uh, first officer Frain capturing. Um, so Scrowner up to five amber, uh, five amber off of that medic Ingram, medic Ingram rewarding herself. Uh, and that that is the play for Sad Crybear getting some creatures onto the board enough to clear the Telega and Hunting Witch next turn. Yeah, and we, yeah, with the stealth mode down, we'll see what that see what that does. Like like I said, definitely hurts pl- hurts a Shadow's turn, but you know it doesn't look like Brobnar cares that much. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, depending on it seems like Untamed is mostly uh, mostly. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to say that mostly creatures, but that's not the case. There are creatures in, in a couple actions in there, but we've, of course, also already seen the nature's call. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, this is a bit of an opening for for Scrowner to just kind of flood the board, you know, just mm-hmm. throw a bunch of Brobner stuff down. Lomer could potentially get some uh, do some value, get some value here fighting into like first officer frame. But we'll see if see if that's what happens. It does look like we're going to get a Brobner turn, though. Yes, we are. Yeah, that low mirror does have the skirmish from Way of the Wolf, which is great. Yeah, taking out taking out the first officer frame. A good move there. A good move there. Uh, and another troll. Love it. <laughs> the trolls. Yeah, so that's a check for Scrowner. Check for the first key here. Uh, that hunting witch Intelliga still alive. Sad Crybear has a choice here. They either... Uh, hopefully there are other Star Alliance cards in Sad Crybear's hand so that they could have a bit of a turn uh, or their only choice <laughs> is to medic Ingram into one or the other, you uh-huh. know, uh-huh. Sky Jedi and Cryogen are here. So we're going to go ahead and shut this down so we don't embarrass ourselves. All right. Um, well, it's been but, a great uh, stream. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Glad to have you here. Uh I'm glad you came after the audio issues resulting from Zach running his own stream. Very, very grateful that I get to hop on cryos. Uh, Sad Crybear saying he's just handing out Amber to those creatures. Yep. Okay, so he's got a disc turn here, so he's going to have to bite the bullet. He's going to have to bite the bullet here and and see, probably play out some creatures and see what he can do once he gets some creatures out. Bornet's Touch reveals cooperative hunting removed too much to protect Snufflegator and Umbra. Hmm. purging the Mermook, purging the Mermook, not planning on uh, having seen this deck in the past few games. I don't think sad cry bear uh, plans on bursting any more than usual. Sometimes there's an option to reap up to, you know, eight or nine, but um, so I don't think that too much to protect is really much uh, too scary. Exhume for information officer gray revealing and uh, archiving quant 
playing snag, Telega just having an absolute field day, Blood Shard I'm getting oh, yeah. discarded. Telega is just picking up the uh, the Ember vacuum right now. Mm -hmm. Turned it on, just hoovering up some some Ember over there. Mm -hmm. She is she is earning her keep. <laughs> She is earning her heap. That whole board is really Lomir, Lomir with skirmish troll, just being troll, and then uh, both of the wishes. This is a, a good situation for Scrowner. Mm -hmm. uh, Sad, Sad Crybear does have uh, does have the Harbinger of Doom, uh, Gleeful Mayhem combo. I think we've seen we've seen one Gleeful Mayhem already. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, even even a single Gleeful Mayhem in this in this situation would help pretty pretty substantially mm -hmm. just clearing off that telega open up opening up the uh the way to just you know like actual actually play creatures without <laughs> giving your opponent getting your opponent to, to their win con um mm -hmm. you know we haven't seen haven't seen a shadows turn yet um so we're at a couple of Robnar turns and an untamed turn from scrowner um gotta gotta be thinking that's gonna be coming soon mm -hmm. um do you see that this deck does also have the sting? I imagine at this point we're maybe a little bit beyond that. Uh, well, the the first key hasn't been forged yet. And well, Scrowner already has one key and mm -hmm. Sad Crybear hasn't forged at all. So if Scrowner is seeing or holding or there's double hidden stash, so they could also archive the Choda. And uh, I, I think we could still see the sting in this mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. I think I think we could because Scrowner is almost to the second key. Um, especially if Scrounder gets that second key before Sad Crybear gets the first, then I think the Sting into Choda is the play. If yeah. uh, if Scrounder is confident, they'll see the Choda. Oh, we do interesting mimicry to copy the Gleeful Mayhem. Okay, which is going to hit one of the Untamed creatures, which is a little sad, but and it there's no, no no regrowth or anything, so it's not yeah, back that way. Took out snag bigger. and information officer gray. Okay, check at eight for Scrowner. Uh, I see I'm what you're wondering... saying with the thing there. That that definitely, especially especially with the untamed out. You know, like it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if if you uh, you don't need to if you can't call uh, or you know if it's not convenient to call shadows. Right, you don't need to don't need to remove the uh, the sting if you got um, if you got a choda. Right, Thanks, exactly. Choats. Especially if Scrowner, uh, which I assume Scrowner will be able to get this key because Sad Crybear, uh, yeah, Sad Crybear, exact, this is exactly what I was thinking. Sad Crybear saying this is a perfect description of how I'd like this game not to go. That's really true because Sad Crybear doesn't have a ton of Amber control. They rely a lot on their speed and then just enough control with uh, the stealth modes. And it's double Cutthroat Research and an Infernus, which are most of, which are most of the Amber control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I can't get on board with the speed. It it's kind of it's kind of got it's one of those decks that just kind of has to play its game because mm -hmm. it has you know somewhat limited options in terms of uh, preventing. Well, I mean, there's there's uh, it's more of disruption, not amber amber control, right? You know, with mm -hmm. the stealth modes, that's there's some pretty solid disruption disruption there, uh, paired with the speed that Sad Crab Bear is probably trying trying to achieve, but doesn't look like it's lined up. Mm -hmm. Especially when a lot of that speed, um, you know, with the uh, is it the double information officer gray uh, does require basically creatures to be played uh, to to kind of uh, get that engine going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Scrowner with just that that double that double threat of of the hunting witch and Telega out for so long. Buzzle finally taking out the Telega. After um, a awfully large amount of amber coming off of that Telega, Side Crybear just did not have the tools on hand. Didn't see the second Gleeful Mayhem. Mm -hmm. uh, spent the first one, which probably gave Sa you know Scrounder the confidence to get that double play out there and see how much value they could get off of it. And they got a lot. They got a lot. Now the uh, sad thing about that interaction we just we just saw there, uh, Sad Crybear had to play out Buzzle, uh, or had to play out Harbinger and Buzzle. The reason yes. being, um, Buzzle, if Buzzle were to attempt to purge the Medic Ingram, it would just remove the ward. And it and wouldn't Buzzle's, be readied. Yeah, oh, you're right. Bu yeah, Buzzle does have to actually remove the creature, to, does have to purge the creature in order to ready. So that basically means, um, unfortunately for Sad Cryber, that's two Ember. You know, two, it, uh, It's one, one additional Ember because uh, the Harbinger has to be played mm -hmm. in order to, to make that happen. 
Yeah, uh, Scrown are getting right up to check here. Taking Sidecrabber off check with a bait and switch. Bait and switch into booby trap, relentless whispers. Check at eight for the final key, which yeah, I, guess... I think is game. Mm -hmm. I think that is game for Sidecrabber. Oh, we do have, uh, yeah, I guess cutthroat, but need some type of uh, taxing on top of that. So mm -hmm. seems like that's probably going to be probably probably be where things end up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, playing it out, playing it out with the code monkey. We, we have seen a couple sweet code monkey plays and other things from sad cry bear here, which was awesome. Yep. There there's the logo sport sad cry bear needed before Telega dropped. <laughs> uh, that that is what a sad cry bear winning this match looks like if that if this logo sport came out before Telega dropped. Uh, but that is the match. Scrowner has taken it and will continue on in the uh, I don't like saying losers bracket and uh, in the spirit of Keyforge, we started calling it the bomb bomb bracket, the bomb the, bomb bracket on the glorious you. Um, so uh, that is a uh, Scrowner, the Martian of generosity will continue in the bomb bomb bracket here. Sad cry bear, uh, sad cry bear. Uh, having a great showing, a great showing for uh, the more wolves. The more wolves here. Indeed, indeed. Uh, you know, in, in some ways, it kind of feel like you, you hate to see a game be a little one sided like that. But you know, I think it's a great example of and, and interestingly enough, Scrowner playing a Coda Coda deck. Um, great example of uh, if you don't have the removal that you need, um, how something as simple as a three power, a single three mm -hmm. power creature can really, really kind of uh, put a wrench in your game plan. Yeah. So it, it looks like Scrowner will be going on to face not tonight, uh, which is great. Um, I believe. Uh, let me check here. Might have to coordinate with. Um, Let's see, losers around three of group B. So I believe, yeah, 